yeah I didn't change this is the same shirt that I'm wearing yesterday yeah yeah it still feels uh, good it smells good and it doesn't look dirty so I think it's okay it's 8 28 it's very early and today we are going to climb in that mountain do you see this uh, tree yeah look at this a flowery color violet nice it happens during uh, spring yeah during these days and if you go to Sydney there is a uh, there's a lot of uh, trees like that in Sydney and there is one street in there in Sydney near to yeah it's actually in Darling Horse you're going to see one street full of uh, trees like that so it feels like you are in Japan I'm bored so I am looking for a place to go and it shows there the Nelson Bay Marina Bay and then the you know all the tourist area in here and it shows that one houses here are nice big and beautiful actually mostly are like a mansion and I am just walking today because that place where we are going is very near to my place it looks like from it's like uh, now I am walking for around 500 meter so that's maybe one kilometer and for me one kilometer is near so I leave my bicycle at home look at this there is a small way in here I don't know if this is allowed to get in but I am not sure <laughs> so you yeah. but you know if there is no other choice I'm going there it looks like a private but there is no warning yeah this is actually a highway so I've been here before usually with my bicycle coming from there going straight there is a way going there but this time we are going up here I always go places I love walking I keep on walking even before when I was young yeah when I was young I don't know maybe because I have a birthmark birthmarks in my in my foot yeah that's maybe true that if you have a mole or a birthmark in your in your foot you are <laughs> you go places yeah and that is true for me yeah because you know when I was young like uh, maybe before seven years old I always go far from my from our house and my, my father they my parents they see me in the in the backyards because you know we have a rice field and we have a, a, a place with a lot of a guava tree and I go there and they are looking for me there and then in high school I always go with my friends to go in a place like this to get you know, exploration swimming yeah things like that yeah and then during my college uh, during my college and uh, yeah during my college and my time in Manila I always go to the shopping mall yeah always go to the shopping mall always go to crowded places like a market yeah that's what I usually do I always go places yeah normally after school or after work I go to place like that shopping mall because you know in this world Philippines has more shopping mall than any other country yeah you don't see much shopping mall here in Australia even in Europe they don't have much shopping mall but in Europe you're going to see a lot of shop in the street even those uh, signature brand like Lacoste uh, Dolce & Gabbana and uh, yeah those popular brands they are just in the street and that's maybe the street shopping mall yeah it makes me tired to walk in here <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can hear it with the sound of my voice and how I breathe <sighs> yeah I love walking I love going in places also 
when the, the when i was in the philippines the farthest that i have been was in uh, batangas i've been to batangas yeah so like one time i had a one month vacation and i actually have no plan so i just decided to go to the i pack my backpack and then i go to the bus terminal in Cubao in manila i take a bus and this bus goes to batangas and in batangas i walk there yeah it started in lipa city i walk and i walk in the shoreline of the sea and in the sea along the sea i see some people they are drinking and they are offering me something like a drink a tagay yeah that's very common in the philippines yeah and some people are you know just calling me oh come here something like that and yeah because you know i'm not very likely into trouble because you know some people they, uh, they are very near to trouble they cause trouble but me no yeah because my i'm very simple looking guy yeah <laughs> no cruel intention among others so just like that so i can go in any places without any problem look it is more up yeah this is designed for the cars compared to the tomar head where we've been before that one is designed for people for walking but this one is for the car just like this yeah yeah and in and in uh, batangas like what i'm telling you yeah i was walking and uh, during the time still the camera is not not very popular i don't have camera during the time uh, the, the the mobile phone camera during the time was the 6660 nokia 7650 only those are the camera phone during the time and i don't have that because that was very expensive <laughs> yeah and i don't even have a camera before so i didn't able to capture the memory those memory that was amazing actually and i was walking in the shoreline and in the night i sleep in one cottage uh family cottage i i talk to the people there uh, can i stay here for one night and they let me stay and during the night i noticed that a lot of people are coming in the place and there was a party <laughs> yeah so they also give me food for free yeah it was a nice experience yeah but because i'm a very shy person i didn't able to to speak with all the people there i'm just watching them yeah, that was a great experience and then i keep on walking and it's like a one week of walking yeah and one nice nice experience i like that to happen again okay we are here now oh it's starting to get windy in this part it's okay later i'm going to put the the windshield of this camera so the audio is going to be nice oh here we are already already here but i've seen on the picture this is not yet the top of this mountain and there are more yeah yeah there are more there is a small roundabout here i don't know if this is houses or it's a private property or what okay well, let's just have a look we're not going to harm people there we're not going to be we are not going to be a cause of uh disturbing them oh yeah this is a residential area nice looking beautiful wow <laughs> private property sorry guys nice house they have a nice view of the place amazing okay yeah it says no through road also here yeah nothing but it looks like there is a walking trail we will try aha uh -huh. so 
there is a place here ah no this is actually a advertisement of the real estate company i was there and down there is like that a lot of trees looks safe but you know maybe there are some snakes or dangerous animals down there we never know oh up there look at that we keep on walking i hope that there is a toilet upstairs because i need to pee hey you know what since i came here in uh, australia i've never seen any people peeing on the sidewalk or in the wall uh, i've seen uh, i've seen one time two people and that is in the sydney in city yeah there is peeing on the sidewalk but only those two you don't see much because you know almost every every 100 meter no one, one kilometer there is a toilet and you're going to see here of course that tower yeah these are the tower that we've seen across the port stephen and according to my landlord this is the telecommunication company property like the Vodafone, uh, Telstra, Optos yeah that tower okay. yeah this is the there is a place here where you can sit like this yeah and it shows this one Tomari coastline wow as you can see this is like a chocolate hills in the philippines you see those chocolate hills chocolate hills chocolate hills chocolate hills chocolate hills everywhere <laughs> sorry man so this is the one that i'm telling you gangan hill lookout no pyres no camping no alcohol dogs permitted if it's on leads no horses no bike trikes motorcycle no gold, no lettering, no damage to park facilities. They designed it especially for the viewing of the bay, of the lake. <laughs> yeah, subdivision, but it's open. And this is the whole lake. that maybe is the nelson bay oh yeah yeah that is the you know the marina nelson bay and that's the place where i swim last time if you've seen the video i think that's the one and moving there we are uh-huh and this mountain this hill what is this mm -hmm. if i'm not mistaken my workplace is on that side <laughs> i'm not sure maybe and you know they also have this kind of a telescope but you need to put uh, two dollars in it you see this yeah. and now it's your turn Oh, yeah, it's done. I think it's still working. You can use it. <laughs> so it was a good experience. Nice. And you know, those uh, Asian looking guys that I'm telling you, they're not Filipino. They are maybe from Thailand or Vietnam. It sounds, sounds like that. In the, using the telescope, it just looked like a, a picture. Not really the best. Uh-huh, there is no toilet here. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's already private property. But I'm going to pee now. Somewhere down there. So that's it. And I think we're going back downstairs now. And heading back home. And you know those two Asian guys? They have car. So I'm thinking that maybe if they catch me here they will offer a ride 
and I'm going to say no because I'm still enjoying the view in here sorry mate so I've shown to you before this that there is something like a walkway in here I don't exactly know if this is a safe thing to do but yeah we're going to try <laughs> yeah I am sometimes scared because maybe this there is a snake it feels like uh, very less people are coming in there <laughs> oh my I'm not I can't decide really uh-huh okay I'm scared I am scared so I'm not going in there but actually there is a proper way but I'm scared so we going back <laughs> You know, you always follow your follow your will, your heart. Sometimes you are courageous to do things if you can. So that's it. Yeah. As long as you are safe and that would be good. Walk down there? Yeah, but yeah, it comes out down on the other main road. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, thank you very much. And I asked if it is uh, safe to go through that way. And he said, yeah it's safe to go there okay yeah we're coming back we're going this way because you know if this uh, way if a lot of people are uh, keep on passing in this way it means that there are no dangerous animals like snakes or something like that because you know uh, snakes and things like that animals like that are they stay in a place where there's not so much people yeah but of course I still need to be careful also I am wearing short so any insects bite or any any bites will be dangerous so yeah I should be wearing a uh, jogging pants yeah but you know that guy that I talked to she he is having a big he is having a big house for sure that is very expensive so that guy is a millionaire <laughs> yeah but you know you don't notice the way they look they just wearing normal t-shirt normal uh, shirt just like ordinary person so you don't see you don't know who is rich who is poor in Dubai if you go to Dubai yeah it's easy to distinguish it's easy to identify the rich and the poor yeah i don't know where is it going now but you know i like adventure like this i enjoy doing things like this here in port stephen i have never seen any kangaroos or any koalas but you know there are signboards in the street that there are some koalas in this area but never seen yet when i was in sydney yeah i've seen in the sydney suburbs like in morissette and and in the royal national park yeah that is a suburbs of sydney and i've seen uh, uh kangaroos in there i've seen koala when i was in apollo bay in melbourne in victoria most of the birds mostly are birds different kinds of birds that is what i've seen here but you know actually if you go to sydney you're going to see everything in sydney yeah there is magpie there is the loriquet and the flying fox and other birds I've, I've i've seen also an owl in sydney nice and they are not in the they are not in the covered area but they are in the wild they are in the open space yeah sydney is nice you see everything all the animals all the plants <laughs> all the yeah okay now we have a problem i've noticed that the cover of my gopro is not there so for sure the sound of this is annoying sorry about that mate so now i am using the gopro hero session hero 4 yeah it is nice yeah look at that this is just pulled down newly pulled down and you know what 
I like uh, this uh, camera, this Hero Session 4 because it's very small, very compact and long battery life I like it very much I like it more than the GoPro Hero 5 yeah because you know there are some issue about the Hero 5 especially the audio and the you know the the length of battery <laughs> I'm going there or here I think it's better to go here this is going already to the residential area so that actually is already a residential area and I asked the gentleman and he said it's good to explore more place in here so we're going more to explore this place so this is going to the Gangan -gan loop trail what is a loop? loop I heard something You know, this is a great place to to get some woods like this. Yeah, there's a lot of dry woods along the way. And you know what, when I was in the Philippines, when I was young, we are still using, a, you know, a normal pyre, a pyre wood when we are cooking. Yeah, yeah, we have these uh, three stones that are plated in there. And of course, that's what we use to, for cooking yeah it's like every day we are camping uh -huh. wow there is one uh, big big building in there what is that i can see there's a big building there it's going uphill but yeah there is something like a small way here it's a little bit uh, dangerous look at that yeah it was coming from there and now i'm going to explore this place Yeah. yeah I'm doing extra cautious yeah but but you know you can notice that there is a way in here like this one but it's still a little dangerous going to a place like this especially if you are alone like me so it means that I was coming from the mountain it's a mountain because if you look at this it is going down Wow, I didn't know that I was in the mountain. <laughs> yeah, it still keep going down. Wow, that's amazing. Just now I noticed that I was on top. Not in the top, but I was in the mountain. Because it is keep on going down. This is not in the plan. <laughs> I was here. Yeah, I was here by accident. It's not my intention to come here doing things like this. At that, I can see something, but I don't know what is. Oh, oh, oh nice! Wow, <laughs> wow, it's good. Wow, now I know. Now I understand. Yeah, amazing. So I end up in here. Yeah, this is basically the Tubugan, you know, the Tubugan uh, playground. Yeah, Tubugan Hill. Yeah, I was thinking this is a swimming pool, but it's not. So this is basically the Tubugan Hill. Yeah, it's a sports center. Yeah, I've been there before. That's the main road, the main street. And this is like a sports center, football field. And in there, there are parking area, there are restaurant in there, actually just one restaurant. And there is one swimming pool on that side. Was amazing, I was coming from there. <laughs> I was scared and I end up in this place. That's good, mate. It means that I am now very near to the Salamander Bay Shopping Center. Look at this, I think that... Oh, there's something in my eye. An insect goes inside. A 
Okay, I think it's gone. But look inside. If you can see, there are a lot of uh, students there. And look at this. There are this uh, cup of McDonald's they put in there. Yeah, the insect. I feel, I still feel the insect inside my eyes. Inside my eye. Uh, they noticed me. Those students, they noticed me and looking at me now. Look at the Salamander Bay Fire Station and this is the, the school, a lot of students. I don't know how is the system of education here because I can see some like uh, elementary and the others are looks already like teenager. So maybe in the same school there are elementary and high school, it may be like that, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe they called it grade 1, grade 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, grade 12. Yeah. And look at that. There are some... I don't know what do you call with these animals. I don't know what do you call that. Yeah, that was the first time that I've seen that kind of animals. Yeah, there is one trolley cart from the grocery. I'm still feeling that, uh, you know, that insects that goes inside my eyes. I don't know if it's gone already or it's still there. Yeah, when I get to the shopping mall, I'm going to clean it in my to in the toilet.